what is up guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video thanks for being here I appreciate it I hope everyone's having a good day today I'm gonna we're in the Supra beautiful day outside I hope everyone is staying safe show you guys today a modification that uh, I did on this car you hear those pops huh I know you hear it I hear it it's all good yeah there you go windows up you can still hear it sounds good um, I did something to this car um, about a week ago and uh, the modification is complete and installed. The weather is nice, so I can show you guys exactly what uh, that modification is today. I am gonna make a bold statement here, and I'm gonna get crucified for it. But, um, you ready? Here it comes, it's pretty bold. I'm gonna say that I'm the only Supra owner say the world I mean, that's pretty bold that's pretty cool but definitely on the internet because I've never seen it that has this modification done to their super it's so simple so simple but it changes the car completely and I'm not talking about the wing that you can see back there because I've seen the wing before um, I'll show you here in a second pretty bold statement but I'm gonna say and I'll say it again no, I'm gonna get crucified. I'm the only super owner with this modification on the internet. If I'm wrong, let me know. You can crucify me in the comments or uh, on, on the like or dislike button, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. I don't know why Toyota didn't do this from the factory. I have a theory, but I can't confirm it. I have a theory, but I can't confirm it, so I give you my opinion it's got to do something with cost I'm sure or my other second part of my theory is it's got something to do with um, trying to keep up or compete with the biggest rival for this car when it comes to brands because when it comes to power there's you know it's uh, two different two different power uh, plants uh, the GTR okay now, here come the comments. Oh my God, how can you compare the Supra to the GTR? I didn't say that they're equal or that they're an even comparison. They're two different cars. The GTR is a phenomenal car. It's an icon, it's Godzilla. Everybody knows what those cars do when it comes to power. But what I'm talking about is this one thing. They both have it. I don't know why they did it. I'm almost certain I know why. When I show you what it is, I think you're going to agree. And I think I'm going to start something here, but I think in a positive way. I think people are going to start doing this once they see this. I saw one car that kind of had it done, but it wasn't really done properly or even done to begin with, I, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, I, I don't think it was done correctly. So it kind of took from it, and I don't think it looked right at all. It kind of looked kind of dumb. But on this car, Downshift Blue 2020 A90 Supra, such a simple modification. It cost me 200 bucks, okay? Therefore, I know it would have cost Toyota probably like maybe a fraction of that right like a 10 I don't even know what the dollar amount would be um, there's an alert anyhow I don't know um, what it would cost Toyota but I can tell you that it would be peanuts but it makes all the difference in the world in this car it, it looks so different and it looks so good and people we know how you know the internet trolls that's a BMW cool whatever played out it's 
it's, a, it's an old joke. Say it, whatever. Nice BMW, bro, whatever. I get it out, you know. People talk about it all the time. Regardless, 5, 10, 20 years from now, this is going to be a legendary platform. Very controversial right now, but so was the 2JZ um, when it came out. Regardless, doesn't matter. You, you like it or you don't. But if you're here, that tells me that you're either curious or you're thinking about getting the Supra or maybe you just have your opinions on it. Either way, I think this one modification changes the entire car. So, this thing likes the weather today. It's about 75 degrees, but it's acting like it's boost weather. Feels good. Putting down about 450-ish. It's not bad. It's okay. You could, I mean, that's slow in Houston. If you don't have a thousand horsepower in Houston, you're not doing anything, but that's cool. Daily driving, not that I drive it every day, but it's still uh, very manageable. The back end is constantly fishtailing, but it's, uh, it's good for now. Okay, guys, so I apologize. I meant to bring you this video a lot sooner, but I filmed it, and then once I... Uh, listen to the audio. It was terrible. So I'm going to I'm just going to try to film this really quick here in my garage It's been uh, really cloudy and raining and so I can't really go out there and uh, Show you this in proper lighting. So I hope you can see it the modification. I'm talking about is right here So I don't know why Toyota did this just like I covered in the first part of the video, but um, They kind of did this in black. It's like a black plastic and it's like a gloss kind of material uh, or finish on it I'm sorry and I don't know why they did it I think they did it once I took it apart and it's super simple to take off but that's not what this video is about the modification is the color matching I want to step back a little bit and kind of give you guys an idea of how good this car looks and I hate that it's not outside because you can't really see it and the lighting isn't very good in the garage but um, what I did is I color matched the caps and of course the wing, right? But that's been done before. Now the A pillar, look how good that looks. I hope the, the uh, camera's catching it correctly, but can you see that? So it was color matched at a shop here. And like I said earlier in the video, like it cost me the whole thing was 500 bucks, right? But this part alone, if I was gonna do it or not, cause I was kind of like, I couldn't make up my mind if I wanted to do that. Uh, to color match that part because I was afraid it wasn't going to look right, but look how good this looks. This is exactly the way this car should have came from the factory, the way it should have been released. I don't know why they did that. I think it was like a cost issue, but if it cost me 200 bucks, then I'm sure Toyota would have probably paid like a fraction of that cost. Does that make sense? So I don't know if it looks right on the camera, but the paint, uh, the painter, and the shop just did like a really, really good job on this, on this, uh, on the downshift blue color. It looks identical on the light. Right here may not look right because the 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 reflection's kind of not correct. But um, anyways, this is the only car I've seen. I'm sorry, this is the only car I can guarantee you that has this kind of modification done on the internet. So it looks really, really good. Now the wing, like I said, it's been done before. I think, uh, I don't even know if I'm saying that correctly, but I think it's like E-Canoe Racing over in like Dubai. They did it and the car looks, I mean, it looks freaking amazing, right? And then they did the caps too, but look how much different and look how much better, I mean, not much different. Look how different and how much better that looks, the A-pillar, the entire car. I'm gonna put up some uh, shots, it's on my Instagram. If you guys uh, head over there and look at it, if not, and I hope this video, because I'm, t I'm telling you it doesn't do the car any justice, only because we're in the garage, but I couldn't film it. I may have to just film it again and just not really talk about it, because you guys have already seen it and you know what I'm talking about. But um, just to show you how good the, the car really, really looks, it just completes the car. It should have... It, it should have just came this way from the factory. Let me give you one more shot. Like it just, look how good it looks. Does that make sense? Let me know what you guys think. Like I said, it could just be me that, that is just overhyping it, but I don't think so. I think it just, that, that just 
completes the look of the car, you know, from an angle. Man, I can't really zoom out. I just don't have the right angle in here. And the lighting isn't, it just isn't right. But uh, I may take it out here in a second. You know what, let me do that just so you can see it in the light. All right, guys. There's that eight pillar painted correctly. Of course, matching the wing. This is a little bit of a better angle, but I don't get that car wet unless I uh, get caught in the rain or something. But what do you think? Looks good, doesn't it? I think so. There it is, that's a good angle. Yeah, let me know what you think. I think it's gonna start, uh, like I said in the first part of the video, I think everyone's gonna start doing it. Uh, the black one is the only one that kinda matches it, but not really. If you really pay attention, it just looks like a different um, shade or maybe even a different color, sorry, than the paint itself, than the actual paint. I don't know why Toyota did it. I think after I took the uh, cover off, I think that's how you get to the windshield in case it like cracks or it breaks or something or the windshield needs to be replaced. But um, I think it was, like I said earlier, to compete with the GTR because it has the same thing. I don't know if they just do that. That's how they, you know, bolt on their windshields or that's how they use that little pillar as a, a pillar cover as a just whatever. Right. But I think it looks so stupid. I think it should have just been delivered like this. And I think the GTR, if you do it to a GTR, I don't even know if it can be done because I've never even driven one. And I don't like Nissan. I don't like the GTR, but that's besides the point, I still think it can be done. And I still think it would complete the, the look of the car. I almost got a black one because it looks complete. But I really like the idea that they were only going to make the downshift blue one time uh, this one year, which was 2020. And I just like blue, as you can tell my M3 over there is, um, it's black, but that one's called Jerez black, but it looks, it looks blue under certain conditions. And so here it is. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. If you have any questions or anything, or if you have any input, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Peace.